Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about a pretty special herb called ashwagandha. This herb has been used for centuries in Ayurvedic medicine to help people relax, feel better, and to support their wellness. As an adaptogenic and immune modulant herb, this helps the body adapt to stressors and fight against disease and infection. It works by regulating the body's production of cortisol, which is a hormone that is released in response to stress. And it also helps by activating and protecting the white blood cells in the body to help fight against disease and infection. Um, sometimes people like to call ashwagandha Indian ginseng. And I want to let you know that it's definitely not in that family. And it is far less stimulating than Asian ginseng. And it's really good for people who are sensitive to stimulating herbs. And some of these groups might be children, the elderly, or people with chronic debilitating diseases. Um, ashwagandha also has a bunch of other uses that you can use it for. So some of the studies have shown that ashwagandha can reduce anxiety, improve brain function, increase testosterone levels in men, and even lower cholesterol and blood sugar levels. And in addition to that, it's also full of antioxidants that help protect your body from the various free radicals and lessen inflammation. Um, now, the FDA hasn't evaluated ashwagandha for safety or effectiveness, and that basically means that whatever I'm telling you hasn't been um, approved by them. So just make sure you're being safe and smart. Go talk to your doctor before taking any supplements, especially if you have underlying health issues. So some of the things you should be aware of before you start taking ashwagandha is if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you probably should avoid it. There isn't enough evidence to prove that it won't hurt you or the baby, so don't use it while you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, it's super high in iron, so people who have hemochromatosis should probably avoid taking this. If you have hyperthyroidism or diabetes or you're taking any types of barbiturates, you should probably see your doctor and be... Um, evaluated while you're using this if you plan to use it. Although the FDA hasn't evaluated ashwagandha, it has been used for centuries and has numerous benefits and also has been studied. Also, talk to your doctor before taking any new supplements and be mindful of any of the precautions that come with any herbs you use. Ashwagandha is a pretty awesome herb that can really, really help you reduce your stress, help you feel better, and live your best life. If you're interested in purchasing ashwagandha from my store, visit me at thegreenwitchescorner.org.